What's up, YouTube? Um, this is Coding for Noobs. This is probably about the third time I made this video tonight. Uh, as many of you probably know if you've been following me, I have rugby, so I'm tired as hell and I keep messing stuff up. So instead of typing this code out a hundred times tonight, I just thought I'd type it out once and I'll explain it to you. Sorry about that. Uh, with the 7 I always have to change because it's just a uh, cam. Um, anyways, when we're, what we're learning today is how to split a file into pieces. So the first thing we'll have to do is uh, import our uh, system.io namespace to allow us, uh, um, it allows, uh, allows us to work with files, we'll say, as in uh, creating file streams and binary streams and stuff like that. Um, next thing we did was, uh, or I did was, uh, I made a text box, just a normal text box, and I made a button. And uh, when we click on the button, we created a try statement, and uh, when we uh, try, if we get an error, we're just going to mess the box and be like, yo, we got an error, this is what it is, we got to it. Um, other than that, in the try statement, we create a new open file dialog, which is uh, allows us to select the file. We check as soon as the open file dialog is closed, um, if the file name that was selected is equal to nothing. So if they didn't choose a file, then we're just going to exit this sub because there's nothing else we can do. Um, but if it isn't, and we continue on with the code, then we create a new file stream. What a file stream does is it allows us to read from a file or uh, write to a file. Um, basically, when we create a file stream, uh, first thing we do is uh, we'll have to do the path and then uh, the file mode, so we want open. And uh, our file access, we need to be able to read it, and we'll share with other programs so they can read it too. Uh, the next thing we do is we created a buffer, which is a byte where we'll be storing other bytes in. So uh, when we move to the file to read it, um, we're going to be reading a hundred bytes at a time. Uh, basically, what this means is we're only going to read a hundred bytes. We're going to add a uh, add it to the text box and then we're going to add split that way we know where it was all split so uh, during our loop uh, we create an integer which is equal to fs.read buffer so during this integer we store whatever we are 100 bytes from our file stream into our buffer which is our byte up here and uh, we start reading from zero and uh, we read 100 bytes at a time because that's our that's the length of our buffer if our read, so if we have nothing left to read, then we exit through. And uh, otherwise, uh, our text box one is now equal to uh, split. So we add split to the text box, and then we add whatever we write in the buffer. So I did system .get string, so get string from the byte, the byte array, and we're getting the buffer. At the end of the loop, then uh, we close our file stream to allow other files to access our uh, selected file. So when we run this through and uh, click on one, and I find a nice mini file to look at, uh, we'll click on the one off. This is going to take a minute because uh, Beans was a very uh, big file for me. Um, but, anyways, as you can see, it read 100 bytes here. and uh, and it split. And then I read another 100 bytes, and then we split. And then we read another 100 bytes, and uh, we split. And uh, this will be useful for when we're socket programming because uh, our TCP sockets can only send uh, let me see, 1024, 100, or 1024 bytes at a time when we're using TCP sockets. So I just thought I'd make this quick tutorial. Um, a lot of people are so always uh, asking, well, how do we. Uh, how do we make a program where we can send a picture over sockets? Well, you need to learn how to use file streams before you do that. And uh, basically, that's exactly what this tutorial has just taught you. You can now use a file stream to split a file into bytes. And when we, uh, or when you're sending the bytes over, you just do uh, send, or whatever your send code is, and then uh, say uh, image kind of thing, and uh, your buffer. But in that case, whatever. Uh, the code is to let the person know it's a screenshot, you'll have to do minus the length of that. Which I'll get into more when we're doing sockets. But uh, anyways guys, uh, hope you learned a lot from this tutorial about uh, file streams and how to split files into separate bytes. Uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment.